Hello and welcome to today's League of Legends esports video where we're going to cover the LCS and how it looks going into free agency. If you missed my last couple videos, I went over um, the LPL the last two days. That was a lot more interesting than this. The LEC, um, a leaky tampering hell space. Um, I also did the two days before that. Um, LCS, uh, pretty simply, a lot of players are under contract, and you're going to see players on here that have been rumored to go to places. Now, that is not official, that is all rumors and speculation, and sure, it could be true, but I don't play in the rumor speculation game, I play in the hard facts game, and that is that um, November 23rd, um, these players are still under contract with these teams. Um... The question marks are where players have been allowed to leave their team early, perhaps, or um, the team doesn't have a replacement for them. Um, the, the free agent's out, and actually the academy player is also out. And tomorrow we will go over the free agents um, in the LCS, like I did the LPL yesterday. If you missed it, that video is obviously very interesting. There are a ton of really, really good players in the LPL up for free agency. So 100 Thieves, uh, they could run back four of their starting five. Tenacity has been a player they've had on deck behind someday for some time. Um, so really, theoretically, 100 Thieves could run all five back. We've seen rumors that um, players could be out. We've seen actually a roster that doesn't include any of the starting five here. Um, tenacity up in the air. I've actually seen rumors of even players outside of North America coming into that team that, you know, the... the team that I'll get into tomorrow. Um, so 100 Thieves could theoretically run everything back if they so chose to, um, because those players are under contract um, and not officially released from them. Cloud9, um, everybody's under contract there. Um, the entire starting lineup and academy team, all 10 players. Um, you know, I've, I've heard rumors that Jensen might not be there. But right now he's under contract. He's actually under contract for a long time. Um, given that he's 27 years old now, he's actually under contract until he's 29, which is um, crazy. Frankly, that's crazy. So um, I have also heard rumors that Berserker wants to be alongside Sven. Um, I think I saw that in one of the maybe Travis Gafford videos. So um, if that is true, I mean, they're under contract. Sven may want to go back to AD carry, but... It depends on what he can find as a job. It looks like the LEC is full. So um, unless he wants to go to the one, oh, two, one of two openings at AD Carey, may not have a job at that slot. CLG, similarly to C9, everybody is also under contract. Um, Dokla, Contracts, Palafox, Luger, and Poom. Uh, there are rumors that they do not want to run this back, um, but theoretically they could. Dig. A team that, unlike the last two, doesn't have quite as many players under contract. They still have Hoon. Um, Hoon is a mythical player in our Discord. XU in um, Jungle, a player that they acquired pretty much in the River trade that they, they did last year to Golden Guardians, which I thought was actually really interesting. Finally, a traditional sports trade in a sp space that does not trade. They prefer to do buyouts. I think that um, trades... Should be utilized more often. Um, Blue, Spawn, and Biofrost. Really looking at this team. Um, Blue and and uh, Biofrost are the only two players that they started last year with. They had River. They had Gamsu in top lane. River in jungle. And um, Neo at 80 carry. And Neo was allowed to walk. And um, Gamsu isn't re-signed. Gamsu's an older player that kind of tried to come back and really... Um, it didn't work, and I really, I don't know if I have faith in Dig turning this around anytime soon with some of their decisions, outside of that um, traditional trade. Uh, EG, Surti in top lane is technically still under contract. I see that he has been um, trying out for Team Liquid's academy team. You see it on Twitter, and um, my thought is that he must have been released from the contract enough to be able to look for other options, maybe because he's in Academy, EG are more than willing to let him look elsewhere. In that case, um, that's up in the air. I don't know. I don't know what EG's doing. Um, 
you know, I look at like NFL, for instance, um, and, and honestly, this should be across all sports, but I don't really know how it works outside of the NFL um, as much uh, American football that, you know, you look at, for instance, um, coaches, right? And I'm going to compare it to coaches. When an assistant coach has an opportunity for a job as a head coach somewhere, the team is more than willing to allow them to interview for that job. There are some cases, maybe during the season, you're going to say, well, well, you can't do that during the season. After the season, if there's an opportunity there, you can take it. Not all pro sports are like that. Some of them will tell their prospects, hey, in the case of Surti, they were like, we have impact. Impact is now older. He's a free agent. He's gone. Surti, we're going to bring in another person for you to compete with, maybe, or whatever. Um, but we'd like to keep you on. You are under contract versus you know, what they're doing, which is allowing him to go um, try out for Liquid Academy. So maybe they don't intend on keeping him at all. Um, all the coaching staff's out of EG, so who knows what's going to happen with EG now. A very promising team that now is um, kind of a little in disarray as far as I'm concerned. So Inspire, JoJo, Danny, Vulcan, those four all could be run back. Um, Danny, I... I have seen rumors that Danny might not play at all this year. Um, there, they've been in talks with players. Um, I did see a rumor today about uh, Cowry even going to Carmine. That's a rumor, speculation. He's still under contract, so theoretically, I mean, he could be getting bought out, but he is under contract, and until that is official, he's on EG's team for me. Um, Vulcan and Smoothie. Smoothie's been around the block, but I don't think he's going to be pushing. So FlyQuest actually is the first team with an opening outright. They don't have a player in bot. The bot lane role is empty. They have Phillip. Jose Diodo has been allowed to, to be a free agent. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Um, Takui has been rumored to go back to the French League. Technically, he's still under contract. So similar to the Calgary situation, it's not official. Um... Spirix is behind him. No bot laner, like I said. Johnson was allowed to walk, and they still have Afro Mu under contract for next season. Um, so, three of the starting five are still there. Jose Diodo and Johnson not being there, and no bot laner. So, that is the first opening outright. We, we do not have an 80 carry signed by FlyQuest right now. Um, Golden Guardians, uh, they could run back the f four of the five they had. Um, for the end of the split, Prismal being the exception, Ole has been required to go back to Korea for military, so that pretty much ends his career. Um, and Prismal will take, we could take the starting job. We've seen Golden Guardians release some content saying that you know they they uh, may approach this year differently. It's, I mean, it's theoretically possible. Um, they have said they're going to do it, so I'm going to assume they're going to do it. But the fact of the matter is, these are the players that they are paying right now. Um, and I mean, outside of River, no offense to the other players, River's the only one that I really, um, you know, think is, is, is pretty good at this point in his career. Um, Immortals do not have a mid laner. Power of Evil is allowed to look for, um, another spot. So he'll be on tomorrow's video, but four of the starting, uh, three of the starting five, excuse me, still there. Revenge, Kenvi. Lost, and then at support, we have Joey, a player that was with their academy team. So, Revenge, at times, has been good. Other times, he's I think he's been a little inconsistent. Kenby was a rookie last year. They're probably going to continue to play him. Um, you know, I've heard mixed things on Vital. I saw mixed things in terms of how Chad plays. Um, so, what Immortals does remains to be seen. Uh, similar to Dig, I do not have a lot of faith in um, Immortals and what they're doing. Um, but they do have lost revenge and can be locked up if they so chose team liquid, um, Bwipo, Santorin, and that's it. So Bwipo and Santorin are the two players from the starting five that are still under contract from last year. Um, Harry, they re-signed, they allowed Bjergsen to wa walk. We talked about Harry a couple days ago in the roundup when Bjergsen was allowed to walk. Um, I think Harry is actually LCS quality at this point. He has dom he dominated Academy in summer, like a 9.6 CS per minute, but in and of itself shows how good of a player he is. Um, just one stat, obviously, but I think that that sort of 
be uh, play in lane is is worthy of getting an a uh, getting a look. Um, I mean, versus some of the other players we're seeing in um, um, LCS now. Yeon, I think Yeon is. I mean, could be the guy for them. Um, Isla and Core are both not under contract. There are rumors that Core will come back, but he is a free agent, as is Isla. Um, so, and Hans, Hans is reportedly, I mean, he's going to G2. They allowed him to leave. We talked about that on um, the LEC video. Differently than this one, um, the LEC video had so many rumors and leaks. I actually did a, a scene switch and showed you what the teams might look like now um, after all the, the rumors, but there aren't a ton of rumors that I really am um, adamant about in, in um, the LCS. It's not quite as uh, leaky. Um, so support for TL wide open. TSM has allowed literally everybody to leave besides Maple and Chime. Solo is reportedly maybe coming back. We'll talk about that tomorrow. But Maple and Chime are the two players out of the 10 they had that are under contract for next year um, as of this moment. So that is that is something. TSM have a, a lot of... Um, I mean, they're going through a big rebuild. This is truly a rebuild, and it's weird because Maple is not young. Um, so you're going to have Maple be the guy. Okay, um, there have been rumors that they may be interested in more LPL players. Junjia is an example. Um, I thought TSM were in on Junjia. A lot of pushback on that, but it's coming out that maybe that was the case. Um, so, I wouldn't be shocked if they're going to run that back. We've seen them do that with Shenyi. Um, Yersin from the PCS. Um, you know, they were in talks apparently with Summit last year after Summit um, left C9. And he got blocked, so I wouldn't be shocked that uh, TSM are looking to the East for um, players, possibly. But, as of right now, they have three empty slots. So, um, right now, there's, what, one top, one jungle, one mid, two bot lane, and one support. So, unlike the LPL, where we had multiple spots open because there's 17 teams and players are not locked up forever, like in this league, um, or region, we, we don't have a lot of a lot of openings, so... Tomorrow, we'll go over the free agents um, and try and, you know, parse through what might happen with this uh, board for, what, next week when the 23rd hits and uh, free agency opens. That'll be like Christmas morning if the leaks stop, which would be awesome. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, like it. Um, subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Comment down below with your opinions. Um, share the video if you so chose to do so if you liked it that much um follow me on twitter join the discord there's like 350 of us people are posting rumors in there and um talking about stuff so if you want to go there um it, it's a good time um youtube memberships three dollars a month supports me gives gets a badge in the comment section i mean but it also supports me which would be awesome um ten dollars a month really supports me you get extra content including american football content a couple videos a week um you get the badge in the comment section it also ensures that this channel continues um so that's it thank you for watching and hope you come back for more content